I think that right now he is at a loss of what's going on. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what his future is because you can't continue to play like this. So here is some of what Giancarlo said. Uh, he was asked about his struggles. Here's Giancarlo. Uh, a lot of things I got to work and adjust on, but um, if you guys think I'm just showing up and going out there and not working, then uh, I don't know what to tell you. Now, that was particularly interesting to me, that response. That, to me, sounds like a guy who is checking out on social media what people are saying. There is not anybody who covers the Yankees or any of the broadcasters who cover the Yankees that think this guy is not trying. No one. No one. If, you, if you're around, he can't run. It's not that he doesn't want to run. It's not that he's loafing to first base. He cannot run. So it's not a it's not a lack of trying. So that was it. He went there by himself. The guy's hitting 188. 188. His OPS plus, right, is I believe 83. 083. You know what that means? He's 17% worse than the average player. 083. So the average player is 100. He's 083. His on base percentage is 273. In 356 at bats, he struck out 115 times. He's two for his last 39. In the last 11 games that the Yankees really needed to win. They, they've given up any chance, by the way, of winning a, a wild card. I mean, they lost these two games to the uh, the Blue Jays. It's over. The tragic number is three, but everybody who's watching knows it's over. Yeah, it's over. Where are they winning these games? So for him to say, you know, they say, well, what do you think when you look at the scoreboard and, and you see your average, which is 188, and he just he looked, he said, pathetic. I mean, he said all the right things, but I don't know if you saw the whole interview, Don. Very short. He looked like he was so despondent, so like, I don't know what's going on here. This is a, a top-flight athlete whose body has betrayed him, and now he can't hit. He hit one ball hard yesterday. Matt Chapman made a nice play to the glove side. He's not in the lineup today. I mean, I, I don't know what to explain about Giancarlo, and I don't know what the Yankees' next move is with him. Now, I was talking to some people today, and they and I and I said, what can you do with Giancarlo? And I was told, oh, he can be moved. You just have to take on another bad contract. You have to take on somebody else's contract. So let's just say, for instance, that he would agree to go to the Nationals. Well, then you All could right. take on Patrick Corbin's contract if you but think you could fix Patrick Corbin. But... The, the one fly in the ointment, Don, he has a full no-trade clause. Now, if he's miserable here, though, maybe he'd be more apt to waive it, but I have never seen him as despondent as he was after the game yesterday. Maybe well. somebody could look at Stan and go, you know what, we can fix that. And if the Yankees want to pay most of the salary, yeah. we'll take a shot. But then I can throw back at you Gallo. The Dodgers thought they can fix him. Right. The Twins thought they could fix him. Right. You know, there's a lot of teams. Uh, Sanchez, how many teams thought now eventually went to San right. Diego, started hitting some home them. runs. Right. But but these are guys that you could say, well, maybe it was in their head. You know, maybe Donaldson just couldn't play in New York. Maybe, um, and, and certainly that was the uh, allegations with Hicks. But Stanton's proven that he can handle it. I mean, he had a great first season with the Yankees. He's been a big uh, post-game guy. This isn't anything mental with him. His body's betrayed him. I think he's just a shot player, Michael. He swings so ferociously that all he can really do at this point is make contact enough to maybe hit home runs. But he can't. One of the reasons, is, Michael, that I think his batting average is so low, there's no way he can get an infield hit. There's just no way. So he probably doesn't even think about hitting the ball on the ground. He doesn't want to be on base because he can't run. So he's probably just up there swinging for the fences. I think he's always done that, though. Yeah, but now especially, Michael, because he can't put the ball in play. It's an automatic out. 